You guys loved me when I overrated or underrated MLB teams last week. So today, out of pure knee-jerk reaction, I'm going to be doing it with players. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Let's get into it. So there's a whole list of players you can see. I'm not doing all of them. I'm doing up to Kyle Tucker, which you cannot see. So let's start off with Dylan Cease. He was the runner-up in the Cy Young last year. Runner-up in the Cy Young last year. He's not had a good season this year. And for that reason alone... I think I'm going to put him slightly overrated just for right now. I'm not saying he's a bad player. It's For a lot of these, you have to really think about it. Overrated does not mean they're a bad player. It means that a lot of people think that they're better than they really are. And Dylan Cease had that one outlier season. Everyone still thinks he's one of the best in the game. Not pitching really like it right now. Adley, I mean, I think he's still underrated. Might be the best catcher in baseball. I mean, my guy JT might... It's close. Adley's so cool, man. And, like, he does everything more than what people think. And he's already a superstar. That's how good he is. I think this year, I think Goldie's, like, a little... Un funny enough, a little underrated. Yeah, the MVP of last year. A little underrated. It's a little weird to say, but... He's being overshadowed by how bad his team is playing. And he's had a really good season. He... Honestly, even throughout his whole career, a little underrated. Nando, I'm going to put him at just right just because I think a lot of people are starting to realize that he is just as good as everyone, like, as he really is, right? Like, he got suspended and people thought that he wasn't as good as he really is, but he's starting to show him. He had a crazy play today. It was wild. Running from like first to home and like it was crazy. Corey Seager, I know he got paid a lot of money but he's underrated he, i don't know why he's like it's almost like he's forgotten in texas but he's helping his team like win a lot he's been one of the better players in baseball this year jose abreu used to be one of those guys who was underrated because he could just flat out hit the ball then he got his contract and he's not playing well right now and is it just a thing like he just can't hit anymore i don't know i think it's more a new city but i think he is slightly overrated right now Trey Turner has not had a very good season, but even before this season, I think there's something that has to be said. Like, I'm a Phillies fan. I love Trey Turner. I think he's so great. I love having him on my team. But something needs to be said that over the last few seasons, his numbers have continued to go down, 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 especially the OPS numbers. And for that reason, he is a little bit overrated of a player. Julio, I think, is also a little bit overrated. He has not had a good year this year. Power-wise, he's been fine, but overall, I think people... He's having this sophomore slump right now. I think he's going to be an MVP for years to come mvp contender slow start right now people still think that he's like him but like he like hit seventh in their lineup at one point he was struggling a lot he's still a superstar the contract might not look great i don't know well he's probably gonna be back just don't get mad at me for that one dude freddie has an argument for being underrated it's crazy i am gonna put him in just right i mean the dude can just flat out hit the ball it's unbelievable to me doesn't matter who you throw against him he's going to hit the ball it's crazy i think zach wheeler is probably just right he had a slow start and he's like had a few like meh outings but he's been the better of the two between him and nola interestingly enough next year is his last year of his deal it's weird to think that it's already gone by that quickly dr sticks man he is underrated tristan mckenzie can pitch the ball and he was injured until like a week ago even last year he had a great season no one really talked about him it's very good jose altuve he's fine everyone knows he's great the best second baseman in baseball probably i think vlad honestly uh, he's such a good hitter, but he's a little overrated, dude. And this is more about his the other side of the ball. He won the gold. Was he like a gold glove winner? He was a gold glove finalist last year. He was like 25th in uh, as a first baseman in like the metrics. He was not a gold glove first baseman last year. Got to get it together a little bit. Torkelson, I mean, is it just a thing? Maybe he's not as good as we thought he was. He's starting to come around a little bit the last couple weeks, but boy, oh boy, he has struggled ever since he came up to the big leagues. Uh, maybe, maybe he's just not as good. I don't know. The former number one overall pick, he's got all the talent in the world. Framber's still underrated. He's so, so good. He was my pick to win the AL Cy Young this year. You can go check that out. Jazz is overrated. It's not close. I'm sorry. I think the problem is that he's got so much swagger that everyone loves him. And I like that about him. I do. But boy, his numbers have just never been great like everyone thinks they are. And he's always injured. He's very overrated. I think that this year, like over the offseason and to right now, I think Manny was slightly overrated. He's still a great player. Don't get me wrong. Probably one of the best 20 in baseball. But like people like me were rating 
pushing him so high. That's just not really who he is. He's come out. He has not been as good this year. Not taking anything away from him. He's a very good ball player, but I just don't think he's as good as everyone thinks he is. I think Chris Bryant is a tricky one because he's probably just properly rated. He's starting to hit for average a lot more. I mean, he's always been kind of that. He's already had na always had a knack for that, but ever since he got to Colorado, he's hitting even better. He's just got to stay healthy. Okay, I'm going to get heat for this one. Garrett Cole is overrated. Now, he's going to go out there and he's going to give you a lot of strong outings, but there's just, he just lets a lot of runs. He's, I just, he's just not worth that much money that they gave to him. I know he's their ace. I know he has had good moments he's had good seasons almost won the Cy Young with like a 3-5 ERA or something like that in 21 good pitcher not as good as everyone thinks I think Schwarber is a really weird one because everyone thinks of him as like one of the better hitters in baseball right but he just is a home run hitter. he's a three true outcome hits a lot of home runs he walks a ton and he strikes out a bit I think he's probably just right I don't know it's tough because I'm you know I'm an insider on the Philly so it's tough for me to know Yandy Diaz is underrated he's one of the better hitters in baseball and he has really shown it the last couple years. Part of the reason why the Rays are so good this year. Gallon, another one. He's super underrated. He's been good for a few years now. He's still underrated. People still don't give him the respect he deserves. He's young. He's thick. Austin Riley, he's probably properly rated. Maybe even a little over. I don't know. That's a tough one. He is very good. He's got a lot of power. And he can play defense actually pretty well. The metrics do not like him at all whatsoever. I don't know why. But just like he passes the eye test defensively. Andres Jimenez is definitely overrated. Especially by guys like me who were really into it last year he had a very good year last year but the peripherals really did show that he was not going to have as good of a year this year no no joe joe musgrove he's going to be in the underrated he's a very good pitcher i'm not sure what the stats are this year i'll be completely honest but over the last few years he's been one of the better pitchers in baseball has not gotten the love he deserved bryce i think we can put him in just right he's actually funny enough leaning toward underrated strangely enough i know i don't know why he gets booed so much i just i don't know He's so, so good, dude. He he would change any lineup for the better. Any lineup. He'd be the three-hitter. One of the best players in baseball. I think Arise is getting the attention he deserves now. I think he's more just right than underrated. He is a very good hitter. We've seen that. He's almost hitting 400. <laughs> he was on like a 20-game hit streak and his average dropped from like 410 to like 390 or something like that. It was funny. Adolis is driving in runs like it's no one's business. He is very underrated. He's a very good ball player. He's especially showing it this year. 2021, he was an all-star. He's come back this year. He's been very good. I'm going to do a few more. Corbin Burns also going to go underrated. Widely regarded as one of the better, if not one of the best, if not the best pitcher in baseball. Cy Young winner in 21, but I mean, man, the dude shoves and he's a little under the radar just because of the team he plays for he needs to get a contract like now nathan ivaldi i mean he's also so gross dude he has been disgusting this year coming off the injury from last year let's do one more overrated i had a lot more guys on this list but i'm not gonna do them one more overrated uh ozzy albies now i've the past few years have just said he's one of the most overrated players in baseball he's just like i don't know he's just kind of more like an average hitter but everyone thinks that he's great i, mean, I know i overrated him a couple years ago if you watch the first ever top 50 players players I did I way he's just I, he's good he's just not great you know what I'm saying not elite I don't even think for his position all right let's do a few more Wander's gonna go underrated the guy can just flat out play he, he, you gotta understand with Wander he's not gonna be someone who does something great he does everything pretty well that's why he's gonna give you like a 780 OPS and like 15 homers and 70 RBIs and like two defensive runs saved 25 bags like he just does everything well he doesn't do anything poorly he doesn't do anything great though and he's a switch hitter Francisco Alvarez deserves some love he has been really kind of carrying the Mets he's been very good as a rookie this year overshadowed by the Mets struggles one more Marcus Simeon I know he got a huge contract but just like Seager right above him dude this guy is going off I don't know if a lot of people are talking about it this guy is flat out hitting like he did in 2021 so so good he's stealing bags he's playing good defense I mean they've got a player they got a good middle infield over there in Texas it's expensive but it is being worth it right now thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video remember like as well as subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one side note before we leave I'm sending away my Corbin Carroll autograph to PSA probably tomorrow so wish me luck we need to get a 10 for that so I love you guys peace out <laughs>